Another solid blue candle. Fish on. First one of the morning, y'all. Once again, I didn't film an intro when I got out here just because it's still dark. You can still see the sun hasn't come up yet. I got out here a little before 6 a.m. Got anchored down. I'm using white bass for bait today and I'm anchored on a river bend. There's a little creek that cuts in here around this bend and I'm sitting at 49 feet of water this morning. And this fish here ate a body section of white bass. I've got white bass heads on that rod and this back one here. And a body section on this one. And a little dink blue cat there. Fish number one, you can see on top of him there, he's still marked up. He's probably pretty recently off the beds. Let's let him go. Here we go again. Fish on. It's pulling too. They all pulling hard this morning, man. That's what I like. This one here's a little bigger. Yeah, man, that's a, that's a better fish right there. This one ate a white bass head. This is the biggest head that I had. Biggest white bass that I caught, I should say. Got a little bit more flow, a little bit more current flow through here than what I had anticipated. That's helping get my scent moving downstream. Like I said, I'm anchored on this river bend in 49 feet of water. Just taking my time with this fish. Went him up slow. Fishing. At 49 feet, so gotta take the time. Let them decompress on the way up. Oh, that rod right there got hit. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's the blue right there. That's the blue. That's a pretty nice one, too. Look at that rod. That rod's going down. I don't know if that one hooked up or not. But we got this one. That's a decent blue. He's not terribly long, but he's pretty fat for his size. He's got some shoulders there on him. Let's land this big old thing. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do before I do that. Guys, I'm gonna pick up on this fish right here. Look at there. Look right there. There goes that rod. It hooked up that time. It hooked up that time. I just set that other rod down. I put it back in the holder. I was gonna get my board set up so I could measure that one. And this one finally hooked up and took off. This one ate a body section of white bass. Let's pull him up again. Yeah, a little blue. A little blue cat. All right, y'all, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a measurement on this big one over here. So I'm gonna leave him set in a minute. This one I've got on in my rod, my hands here now on this rod. I'm gonna go ahead and get him released and get that bait back down there and get it soaking. Since we, oh, look right here, look right here. That rod's going down too, man. Let's set that back. Oh yeah, here we go. Triple. We tripled up. <laughs> I got rod. I got that rod. That rod and this rod all going down, man. That's what you hope to get on out here, ain't it? This is the catfisherman's dream right here. Just every rod going down. Yeah, that's another dink right there, I believe. Yep. Just another small one. Let's set him back. Let's get rid of these dinks, guys. Let's get them unhooked and get my baits back down there. And then we'll deal with this bigger one. All right, y'all, you're just going to do a little quick release on that one there. Because I want to get these baits back down in the water. We've got some fish moving in here. So I want to release these small ones as quick as I can. Get my baits down there soaking. Alright guys, same deal with that one, just a little one. He gone. Let me get rebaited and we'll land this big one finally. Getting that line rebaited there, just putting a, sticking another headpiece on that one. And then finally, we'll get this bait down there and finally we'll land the big one back here. <laughs> That's fun, ain't it, man? That's fun. 
If I wasn't awake before, I am now. <laughs> okay, guys, let's bring that knee in now. That's a good fish. All right. Got my head back, too. Look at that. That's a bonus. See what I'm going to do? So I got my headpiece back. I don't have to replace it. I'm just going to drop it right back down right quick before we measure him. Now, let's hold this beast up. Look at that. <laughs> That's a good fish. Look at that. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> That's fun. All right, y'all. Let's take a look here. He is about 39, just under 39 inches. So, nice fish. All right, one final look. This fish is going. There he goes, slowly but surely. Man, that was a good time, y'all. Good time. Look at right there, guys. That one thumped it. Look at that rod just bent over. Man, look at that. Oh, that's a good one, guys. Look at that. Look at that. He's still taking some drag right away. <laughs> Man, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Look at that. This is a good fish, guys. This right here is the best one of the morning. Look at that. Man, he's fighting hard. He is pulling. It is fun when it's like this. Fun when it's like this, man. I can't explain it. It's just a, a good time when you get a you get a fish like this that'll really put a hurting on you here. Get the side of your kayak leaning a little bit. That's a good time. That's what makes kayak fishing fun. It's just an extra little adrenaline spike you just can't get from fishing on the bank or fishing out of a boat. Well, that might be a flathead. It looked kind of brown. Oh yeah, that is a good flathead. Look at that, man. That's a good flathead. Let's see if I can bring him over here a little closer to the camera. There he is, yeah. That rod's going down too. Look at that. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Let's bring him in. Now, nice flathead, man. He's a real light color. That's like a light yellowish brown. Let me flip this light on here because it's still kind of dark out. Look at that. <laughs> nice flathead. Let me set him on the board too. We'll get this other camera back. So guys, this fish, if you turn the flathead on its side, is going to be about 37 and a quarter, looks like. But for these tournaments, they don't want you doing that because you can't see the left eye. So what you got to do is you got to turn it on, on its belly. And when you put them on its belly, they don't like sitting like that. So you can see he's going to get crazy on me. He's going to want to start flapping his tail and trying to swim off. And these things are hard to get pictures of like this. Now the other thing you got in this situation as far as getting the pictures goes is this right here you see how they want to keep their tail curved you can't get the right length and for the pictures only the part that is touching the board will count for the length so it's hard to get that tail to lay right where you want it uh, it's just it's not practical for measuring flatheads in these tournaments guys they need a better way all right, y'all, one final look there. Nice flathead. Fun fight, man. It was a blast. And that's what's important to me. I don't really give a crap about the tournament scene or even this YouTube crap, really. The main reason I'm out here is to have fun catching fish. That's what I love to do. And this thing, I had a lot of fun on. Let's let him go. There he goes. Back where he come from. Y'all, there's that. While I was fighting that flathead, this other rod here had gotten hit. And didn't hook up, but he got my bait. Ripped it off. So let's put a new headpiece on, we'll drop it down. I've got all headpieces on right now. 
we got another fish on right there, guys. That's another one on. He's gonna pull too now. <laughs> it's just been on since I got out here this morning. I don't know what time it is now. I mean, it's 7.13 right now. 7.13, so it's been a little over an hour that I've been on the water and it's just been non-stop. I can't hardly keep lines in. This is kind of how it's been for me lately. My morning trips have outproduced my night trips and it hasn't even been close. These peak times, you know, sunrise and sunset are always good times. It's always kind of peak activity times, but a lot of times in the summer months when it's real hot, I like to get out and fish at night and I have a lot of success doing that. But this year, for whatever reason, I just haven't done well. But these early morning trips are still getting it done for me, getting some better quality fish. Guys, I think this is another decent fish right here. I ain't got a good look at him. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that is. That's another decent fish. <laughs> Barely by a thread. Oh, 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 crap. There he goes. There he goes. That hook was barely in him, and I, I just took that hook out. It was barely in him. I took it out before I landed him. He went to spin, and his strength spinning against my thumb. <laughs> See what we got? We got one. Oh, there he goes. Look at that, man. Look at that. Look at that. He hit it and then took off. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm having a blast, y'all. I'm having an absolute blast out here. This is this is why I love this time of fishing. This time of year, I should say. A lot of fishermen don't like the, these hot summer months. Uh, they hate it. Personally, I love it. This post-spawn bite, you know, you don't necessarily catch the biggest fish of the year like you will pre-spawn or, uh, you know, in the wintertime months, but... You'll catch a lot of fish, and you get a lot of fish in that 15, 20, 30 pound class. And those fish are a lot of fun in the kayak, and just the volume of them, the numbers of them. I love this time of year. And as far as the heat goes, I don't know about you all, but I'd much rather be hot than cold. I can deal with the heat. I can fish at night or early morning and avoid it, but I hate being cold. I can't keep my my fingers and my toes warm. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's a bigger size dink. <laughs> Another chunky size. Fun fight, man. I am just having a blast out here this morning. <laughs> Let's let him go. <laughs> Look at this. Got another one on right here, man. Got another one on. I had a little bit of a lull, y'all, all of about 15 minutes. <laughs> That's a good day, ain't it? <laughs> Most of the time you go through a lull for me, it's an hour or more, but today these fish are keeping me busy. Look at Mr. Blue Cat. Look at that, guys. That's another bigger sized, just above a dink right there, the fun size, I call them. It was another fun fight, man. These fish, man, it's been quality and quantity today. Those are the best kind of days. <laughs> Boom. Oh, that's another good takedown, wasn't it? <laughs> Heck yeah. I love those slow takedowns. Love that. You just see that rod just going, and it just keeps going. <laughs> it's another one ate the white bass head. That's the same head I had on for the last fish. I think it's going to be the third fish I caught on this particular one. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that. Good gosh. That's a strong fish, man. 
That is a strong fish. Now he's taking off. He's mad now. I wonder if that ain't another flathead. Golly, bad man. <laughs> Y'all, this may be the biggest one of the morning right here. I love it though. When you see them slow takedowns like that on the rod, man, you know you got a good fish. Them small fish will just slam it and just you'll see your rod tip just going up and down real fast. But the big ones, ain't none of that nonsense. <laughs> it's just raw power. Let me get a time update here for you. It's 8.43 right now. And I'll almost be willing to bet this is another flathead. I still ain't seen it, but... Man! Well, <laughs> almost had him to the surface. Uh, he just stripped a ton of drag. And there goes some more drag. <laughs> oh, that's a big blue. That's a big blue. I would have swore it was a flathead, man. They wasn't no rolling or nothing down there. That was just straight pulling from start to finish. If I can get him over here and get a look at him. He still ain't done. He still ain't done. I'm gonna strip some more drag. There he goes. <laughs> Alright, y'all, this is another one I gotta stand up to bring in. Look at that, man. that thing I'll tell you what he ain't nearly as big as I thought he was but he fought hard that is a hard pulling fish right there man <laughs> oh, I love it man that's a good time <laughs> All right, now. let's set him here on this board and let's take a peek at him that one right there is about a little over 38 I think if he'll He'd lay his tail out there. He'd be about 38 and a half. But yeah, that's a dang good fish, man. Fought hard. All right. Oh, he's getting on. Let's get him out of here before he goes crazy. Oh. You don't want out of here, you mean thing. <laughs> fish on. Oh, let's pick up on him. I just switched out that bait few minutes ago I put on a body section of white bass. We've seen a bad fish either y'all. It's been the theme of the morning. <laughs> this has been a great morning out here. I got no complaints. None. I'll take a day like this seven days a week and twice on Sunday. I think most of y'all watching out there would probably agree with me on that too time it is now. It's 9-12. Man. It'll take off now, didn't he? Just kind of continued to be steady this morning. It was on like Donkey Kong right there at first light. But there hasn't been a, a lot of time between the, the fish even since then. So been a fun morning for sure. Another solid blue cat. <laughs> Bring him in. <laughs> it just keeps going, man. This is the... I've said it, man. This is the kind of... This is the reason why I like post-spawn fishing. I haven't got no this super tanks this morning. But there it is. Solid thick fish that are just full of fight and a bunch of them man this is post spawn fishing at its best right here man i love it look at that oh, look at that thing <laughs> is that awesome or what you know all these fish have kind of been marked up since dorsal fans broke up here 
they've not they're not just full of marks though which leads me to believe these fish have probably been off the beds for you know a week or two three maybe maybe less but uh, golly bum this is fun <laughs> I don't, we just measure this one too while we're at it. Let's take a look here. That fish is almost 40 inches, man. Almost. If he lays his tail right, he would be 40 inches. All right, guys. One final look. That fish is just shy of 40 inches, so. Biggest one of the morning. <laughs> I don't know about weight-wise, but length-wise, biggest one. <laughs> Let's let him go. I'll say goodbye, Mr. Blue Cat. Going out of here, you old thing. There he goes. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's about 11 a.m. right now, and it has turned into a steam bath out here. It is hot. Plus, I haven't caught a fish in almost two hours, so the bite seems to have died off. So I'm going to wrap up this trip and call today. But, man, the, the bite this morning, while it was on, it was on. From the time I got out here up through a little past 9 a.m., it was just one fish after another, and I got several fish this morning that were quality fish between 37 and 40 inches and all of them were a dang good fight man i had a blast out here today so hopefully the video turns out well hopefully y'all liked it if you did hit that thumbs up button for me i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching